Russia is preparing for a major offensive in Ukraine's Kursk region, with reports suggesting the mobilization of around 50,000 troops, including forces from North Korea. This buildup, confirmed by US and Ukrainian officials, could significantly change the course of the conflict, enabling Russia to fight on multiple fronts without weakening its efforts in eastern Ukraine. Kursk, located near the Ukrainian border, has become a focal point following a surprise Ukrainian incursion in August. This operation was seen as Ukraine's attempt to pressure Russia and gain leverage for future negotiations. However, Russia's response, now bolstered by North Korean troops, may shift the balance. North Korean soldiers have been integrated into Russia's military strategy, trained in infantry tactics, artillery, and trench clearing. But questions remain about their effectiveness, especially given Ukraine's strong use of artillery and drones. Ukraine's continued presence in Kursk has been crucial, preventing Russia from redeploying forces to other key areas within Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has highlighted the strategic importance of this, with General Alexander Syrsky confirming that 50,000 Russian soldiers are tied up in Kursk, forces that would otherwise reinforce Russian positions in the Donbass. The US and its allies are watching closely. Recent intelligence suggests Russia has been able to concentrate forces in Kursk without draining troops from the Eastern Front. This development raises concerns about Ukraine's ability to hold its ground and contain Russia's advances. Meanwhile, the involvement of North Korean forces marks a new phase in the war. Around 10,000 North Korean soldiers, some armed with machine guns, sniper rifles and anti-tank weapons, are reported to be fighting alongside Russian forces. These troops have been trained in Russian military tactics and are expected to play a major role in direct assaults on Ukrainian defensive lines. Analysts believe North Korea's participation may offer Pyongyang valuable combat experience and access to Russian missile technology in return. As the conflict continues in Donetsk, where both sides accuse each other of damaging a dam, the situation remains dire for civilians caught in the crossfire. Despite heavy losses, Russia is determined to push forward, using what some call meat grinder tactics, to wear down Ukrainian resistance in Kursk. The region has become a critical front in the war, with both sides fighting for control. These developments come at a time of political uncertainty in the United States. With Donald Trump set to take office in January 2025, there are concerns about the future of U.S. support for Ukraine. While Trump has indicated a desire to end the war quickly, it remains unclear how his administration will approach the conflict. Some worry that a shift toward a more conciliatory stance with Russia could alter the course of the war. For Ukraine, the stakes are high. It must decide whether to continue reinforcing its positions in Kursk, despite the risks of further losses, or to shift focus to Donetsk, where Russian forces have recently gained ground. Some military analysts suggest that withdrawing from Kursk may be the more strategic option. As Russia's offensive continues and political tensions rise, the outcome of the battle for Kursk could have a profound impact on the future of the war. The region may not only shape the military tactics on the ground, but could also influence the broader geopolitical landscape in the coming months.